Hey Bruce. Hey Aaron. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, just uh, going over my notes here. Uh, what are we? Are we making something with the syrup? Today? We are. I've uh, had to make another batch of syrup because I kept testing it. <laughs> of course. And I came up with quite a few drinks. You know, quite a few. Um, Is that all you've been doing all week? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. Um, I made a, uh, a variation on a strawberry almond uh, daiquiri. I even made a whiskey sour with our syrup. And that was good? really good. Yeah, yeah, actually it was pretty good because I'm a whiskey guy. I like whiskey, you know. Um, I even, <laughs> I even made a Manhattan and subbed out the sweet vermouth for the uh, strawberry toasted almond syrup. How'd but that work? That was good. That was that was really good, actually. I was, yeah. Oh, I'll just have this. <laughs> anyway, tried a few things. I was working with Aperol, Campari, even some uh, Fernet. Um, then I got to thinking. I like to keep it simple, because a lot of times, in the cocktail world, it's not simple. And uh, what? So you're telling me this drink's not going to have 20 ingredients? No, oh. not at all. Okay. Uh, I think I've got <laughs> four ingredients. I think that's it. Well, I mean the the syrup was so simple to make, right? So that yeah, why don't we just make something real simple? So I kept making it and taking ingredients out <laughs> each time, <laughs> and I nailed it. I nailed it. So basically what we're gonna make is a strawberry almond sour, a gin sour. Like I said, uh, we're making a, a gin sour today, a strawberry almond uh, gin sour. I tried it with a few different types of gin and found that London Dry works the best. So we're gonna start with an ounce and a half in our shaker. We need some lemon to make it a sour. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just looking for three quarters of an ounce. I mean, you could add more to your liking if you like it really sour, but this seems to work. It worked really, really well, actually. That's looking pretty good. Three quarter ounce fresh pressed lemon juice. Now, <laughs> for a wonderful syrup. Same amount, three quarters of an ounce of our strawberry toasted almond syrup. Now, there's a sour, plain and simple. It's got a lovely color, doesn't it? But I have a little secret ingredient. Well, it's not secret. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have much left. <laughs> Old J. Pineapple rum. Don't want a lot. This is just going to give it a little somewhat tropical note. I'm just going for a quarter ounce. Simple as that. <laughs> I love this stuff. Hard to get. Um, yeah. It is. Do you know I... I had a bottle of that on your recommendation. Yeah. And I drank the whole thing. <laughs> In one night? <laughs> no. But I think it was the first bottle I ever drank completely straight. Oh, really? Yeah. Just just drank it. Just what? drank it straight. Right out of the bottle? Uh, uh, by the, it got to that. By the railroad track? I'm not going to admit that. Yeah. <laughs> In a paper bag? In a paper bag. <laughs> no, I, I, would come, I found myself coming home almost every night from work and putting yeah. one ice cube in a tumbler yeah. and drinking yeah. that. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Now you can't get it and now I'm kind of yeah, suffering yeah. <laughs> withdrawal from it. 
<laughs> well, I was looking, I mean, Bacardi, Bacardi, is it Bacardi or Morgan? Morgan, Morgan has a, uh, Captain Morgan has a pineapple rum. I have not tried it yet. And then I saw, and that's at 35% ABV. Uh, this is 35% ABV as well, I believe. And then I saw Malibu. Yeah. yeah, I know. Malibu has a uh, pineapple rum, like they have their coconut rum, and it's at 21%, oh. which is crazy. And then I got thinking, well, I don't really like Malibu coconut rum to begin with. Why would I like their pineapple? So, anyway, moving on. We just have to ice this now. Just uh, fill up her shaker with some ice. How are we shaking? <laughs> like a strawberry. No. Shake it sour. Sour. We've done that before. Yeah. Ah, shake it sour. Just shake it, man. 10, 15 seconds. Get it nice and chilled. That's good. And we need a glass. I've got it in my freezer over here. Okay, I've got two glasses. I don't know which one to use. What's the different? Oh, um, perfect. <laughs> okay, <laughs> somebody's got to make a decision. And we're just going to fine strain this into our chilled coupe. Nice color, for sure. Beautiful. That is nice. To egg or not to egg? I didn't think so, you know. I mean, a lot of sour cocktails will have egg, egg white in them, but it doesn't have to. And I don't think originally sours had egg white. And by not putting the egg white in, you're gonna get a crisper, a more refreshing cocktail. Okay, just putting it out there. All we wanna do now is garnish. I got a nice little fresh strawberry here. And uh, <laughs> I put a little sprig of rosemary in it. Why not? You know, it's just, it's kind of fun. Uh, it's kind of fun. It's kind of weird. <laughs> That's weird, Bruce. <laughs> but it looks cool. All right. Well, you think so? Well, I mean, I've got some other possibilities here. I mean, you could just do something. That's actually very elegant, isn't it? That's very nice. All right, let's give this a go. Oh, that is so fresh smelling, bright. Wow, this is so well balanced. It's not that strong. The gin definitely is forefront with all those wonderful botanicals. The lemon juice, just enough to make it a sour. And our wonderful, <laughs> strawberry almond syrup. It's kind of in the background, but it's the pineapple. I think, yeah, the pineapple kind of pulls it together and gives it this tropical, tropical sense of being. What does that mean? Tropical <laughs> sense of being? Yeah. <laughs> this is absolutely delightful. I really, I mean, Obviously this gave us our color and it is grounding everything together, but it's the, it's the pineapple rum. I mean, we only used a quarter ounce, uh, 7.5 mil, right? And, and it's just poking its head through and just making this uh, a tropical delight, actually. <laughs> it really is. I'm liking it, but you know, there are other ways that you can enjoy and uh, strawberry almond sour. For starters, you could just simply pop in an ice cube here, <laughs> pour it over top, right? I got one <laughs> made already. And it, it, it presents itself completely different. It's got the same wonderful color going on. But that's not all. <laughs> if you want to even get even more creative. You know, maybe take a little foot at glass like this, 
put it in, into a tall glass. I got another one here. <laughs> I got all kinds of them. <laughs> and uh, this would become more of a summertime uh, type drink. Just uh, drop in some ice cubes there. And uh, strain her out. Oh, that looks nice. That looks really nice. And then, to get a little bit more uh, length out of your drink and make it more refreshing than it already is, just add a little bit of soda water to the top. Uh, not much, about an ounce. Nice. And we just uh, give that a little gentle stir. And this is where <laughs> this wacky garnish would probably fit better. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> My little rosemary uh, strawberry on the side. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Let's give this one a go. Oh, wow, it's nice with the fizz. It's nice with the fizz. I get the rosemary right off the bat <laughs> on my nose and the lemon is, you know, right in your face. I like it. So, any version you decide. <laughs> I like, I'm, I'm kind of swaying towards this one now. Well, then I guess I'm going to have to drink that one. All right. I there you go. Know. There you go, Aaron. <laughs> Thank you, Bruce. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Cheers, man. Cheers. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Damn straight. Damn straight. on camera no because it doesn't always crack there it is <sighs> see you next time folks yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah there's your blooper isn't it yep. Shut up. <laughs> all right <laughs> let's try one more damn it ah ah I don't know man all right, we need a glass. I want a little glass. Nothing too. Eh. Yeah, I guess that'll do. That'll do, yeah. We're just gonna drop in some ice. Hang on. Ice cubes are stuck together. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself <laughs> a strawberry almond Manhattan. Damn it. That's gonna be my drink. Weird. Damn straight, man. Oh yeah, baby. Give that a stir. Hang on. Ah, yeah, baby. Ah, we'll do angle. Just one. One. See that? Did you see that? I did see that. Ah, uh, you know what? Now well, that's gonna be two, folks. No, 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 well, two, but different bitters. Some chocolate bitters. Oh. You're a madman, Bruce. You're yeah. a madman. Think about it. Chocolate and strawberries. Well, that does go. Chocolate and almonds. Yeah, that goes too. Chocolate and whiskey. Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, give it a little stir. Oh, I get the chocolate right up the nose. And that is always an inviting. Uh, wow, that's freaking good. 
<laughs> this that is, is the really, that is really good, man. This that is the longest hit subscribe yeah. oh, section yeah, yeah, we've yeah, ever yeah, done. Yeah, that's what we were doing. <laughs> Whatever version you decide, get your sour on and hit the subscribe button. Check some other sour recipes out and hell, make a <laughs> make a strawberry almond Manhattan or one of the other versions. I don't know, man.